we are we are going through a very dark moment in the history of the Catholic Church, not only here in the United States. Here, we have gone through this crisis uh, very heavily for many, many years. Um, the sexual abuse of minors has, has uh, existed before, and, and painfully uh, is there, and it's that illness that could be that we'll find situations in the future. But, but you know, we need, uh, to address your question, we need to face how people are dealing with it. These days, it's incredible. And it's not the emotions, because this is going, as a moment of the process will be over. Now, is that uh, uh, people have been evangelized, and those who have been evangelized, they know that our, our road with this situation, all the situations, and people are suffering for many, many reasons, is the way of the cross. And Jesus was very boldly about it. Is the way of the cross to resurrection and glory, heaven. But is the way of the cross. And people, uh, I have seen it in my, in my own archdiocese, as many times, many, many times that I have expressed uh, um, uh, my presence in being with them and for them, that is, is people of faith. People of hope and people of love, the three virtues that connect us directly with God, you know, the theological virtues. And you see it, you see it in their faces, in their words, in the midst of pain. And it's very profound and deep. Uh, today we had a wonderful reflection in a homily uh, for uh, Cardinal O'Malley, celebrating the Mass in honor of the Blessed Mother and the Blessed Mother, the first disciple and missionary of Jesus Christ. The first one, because she received the word and he gave the word. The first disciple and missionary, uh, even before the apostles. And, um, and he's to imitate her in this time of, uh, of pain and suffering. And how all of us to cope with this will be needed everyone. The victims in mysterious ways, the perpetrators, the bishops, those who have been of us involved in cover ups and, and uh, misconduct, those who are good in living out the, the example of Jesus in their lives, those who are struggling in their own lives for different reasons. We need everyone, everyone, so that the church, the body of Christ, when one hurts, everybody hurts. When one is joyful, everyone should be joyful. May we, by the mercy of God, carry on what he started, what he started. And I will say, we don't need to be re-evangelized, even though I understand the term. If somebody has been evangelized, doesn't need re-evangelization. Needs, somebody mentioned about formation, needs um, expression of that encounter. The thing is that our encounters sometimes are limited. So it's, it's to, deepen, to deepen our encounter with the Lord. It's fascinating. Jesus is fascinating. And we cannot grasp who he is and his work of love once. 
we have said many times, this experience is what I needed. I don't need anything else. We forget. But the Holy Spirit will remind us who Jesus is and what is the work of the kingdom.